Morning YouTubers, it's Jessica again. We're gonna check in now on the European night crawlers that we have started um, over the past couple of weeks. I haven't really checked them since I fed them this past week. Um, so I thought we'd do it together and see how they're doing. This homemade worm bin system that you see, you can see there's obviously some humidity in here. It's keeping it moist. It's not too moist because when I open the lid, the smell is fine in that it really has very little smell at all. But if you find that you make one of these systems and it is too damp for your liking, you're either having a lot of worm die off or you see the worms coming up the sides trying to escape. You can add more dry bedding to try to correct that. You can also change them over to a different kind of system. Um, but we're going to see how they're doing because this is what we have. And I thought we'd check in and do it together. I can see there are some mites running around, but really not terribly many. And we're just going to move this dry paper out of the way. You'll recall when I initially set this up, I put in um, a good bit of spinach. And then in the following week, they got avocado and other good stuff like that. In fact, here's the avocado pit that they have eaten this... Um, completely out of the husk of the shell itself. And so I'm going to continue to leave that buried down in here because I want to see about um, possibly sprouting that avocado seed as you do sometimes. Well, here they are. They look good. They look healthy. Let's see if I can get it back for you so you can see them. There they are. See, nice and round. A little bit different than the red wigglers. Bigger worm. And you can see that they're trying to get away from the light, so we'll put them back down here. They've spread throughout the bin. I'm not seeing any, um, not much by way of the organic material. There's still some coffee filters in here, but I'm not seeing any, um, any of the spinach left that we had put in. I'm pretty sure that as I dig around, yeah, here's part of it. Here's one half the avocado that I had actually moved that they've clearly been in. It's all mushy in there now, so we're going to dig that back down there so that the guys can get into it, which is good. Um, so they appear healthy, and the worm bin itself smells quite good. Um, it has that normal, what I consider now to be a healthy vermicompost smell. It smells a little bit earthy, but um, fresh. It has no bad smell at all, and you can see the worms moving around inside what is their bedding and their food in my hand. It's not even remotely close to time to think about um, harvesting anything out of this bin. We're just going to continue to feed and keep um, paper cover in there. And as soon as they have processed all of the material that you see in here, then we'll consider some um, harvesting of the vermicompost out of this. But since we really have only had this bin going for a couple of weeks, I don't expect to have any harvesting from this for at least another six weeks or so. But here are the European night crawlers. They're doing very well, very healthy, very active. And that's all from the kitchen worms today.